This is how to mirror image your drawing. So go to File, New, and then choose A4 from the drop down menu, and then Portrait, OK, unless you want to work in landscape. So open your picture that you want to use. You can just open it from a folder on your desktop and click and drag and drop it on the page. Now this picture that I've selected has a border around it that I need to crop. So I'm just going to remove that border. And press Shift S to increase the size, scale. Use the Move tool to move it to the corner of the page because it's going to be mirror imaged four times or flipped if you're using GIMP. I'm now going to use the rectangular select tool to select the area that I actually want to copy. I don't want the, the black line around the edge or the white border. And then I'm going to press the green create a new layer button in the bottom left hand corner to paste the layer so it's not a floating layer. So um, I'm going to delete, I've just deleted the layer that I didn't want the original one. Oops, no, I made a mistake. So I'm deleting, going to delete the layer that I don't actually want. Yes, that's right, that's the one I wanted. And I'm going to create a new layer, either by pressing the create a new layer at the bottom. Oops, I've just created the new layer of the background so I don't want that just press X so make sure the white border is around the layer you want to create a new layer and press that button or you could go to layer duplicate layer and find a duplicate layer that that way so I've got three layers now I think I only need two so I've just dragged the one of the layers across and then I'm going to go to either the flip toolbar which is there or you can go to tools transform and then flip or it's uh, shift F and you'll find that you can either choose horizontal or vertical and then you just click on the layer and it turns it around so you might need to experiment a little bit now I'm going to merge both of these layers together but before I do that I'm just going to turn off the layers that I don't want to merge so those two layers there just click on the eyes and then go to image oh, sorry layer on oh, no, our image um, merge visible and then merge and it will merge both of those two layers together with the the ones with the eyes that are visible so now there are just one layer in the layers palette then I'm going to duplicate the layer and just move the duplicated layer down. You might like the look of it without having to flip it or mirror image it, just like that. Or you could try with the uh, flip tool, which is Shift F, and then experiment with what it looks like flipped. So now I've got four um, versions of that to make a tile. Now you probably need to merge both of those together so they form one, um, one page if you want to um, use effects on it. So I'm just going to make sure I'm on the right layer first of all and now I'm going to press Control S to stretch it to the size of the A4 page. Scale, press scale or enter. So you can save this 
uh, as it is, but I'm going to put a coloured background underneath it. So I'm just dragging a background that I've made earlier. Don't have one that's too detailed because it will it will compete with all the patterns on the layer. So you need something that is fairly simple. This is from a mirror imaged photograph that's been run through a filter. So I'm just going to um, rotate or press shift R to rotate the picture and then enter or rotate and then shift S to make it bigger so it fits the background. Yeah, enter or press scale. At the moment it's in front of the pattern but it's, that doesn't matter. I'm just going to see what happens when I go into the modes in the layers palette and try to see what they look like. So that's merge. That doesn't seem to do very much. What if I change the um, order of the layers, put the, put the pattern on top and press merge? It still doesn't seem to make that much of a difference. There's a slight difference. I'm going to try some of the other effects. Oh, that's quite nice. If you if you like uh, a darker effect. I think that was exclusion or something like that. So just try a number of them just to see what they look like. Some of them won't do very much. And then when you have something that you like, then you go to file, file, export as, change the name of it to something appropriate and then you go to select um, at the bottom choose A4 and press export and export again and it will save on your desktop there